Hello all, Mark McGran here. I am just getting ready to do some dots. You'll see my dogs in the background <laughs> in my messy, messy garage. So um, I'm just jumping in here, gonna do a little dots. I don't know if anyone's gonna join, but I'm painting. So hey, might as well do a quick live video. I don't think it'll last too long. I got stuff to do, but thought I'd post it up there. So um, <clears throat> this is my scheme that I'll be doing. I got three bodies to do. So I've already done the uh, orange, actually fluorescent red pinstripes. I did a really cool uh, holog holographic um, uh, deal or another pinstripe. The yeah, stuff I did that is for this Alkali 2 lacquer. I don't know if that'll do that. But it is a really cool, it's a holomatic spectral spectral chrome I can post up for anyone that wants to take a look at that but really really cool effect I don't know if you can kind of see it right there but once it gets the light it's pretty dope it changes a lot of colors so it's not cheap it's like 10 bucks a bottle for one ounce but I enjoy it so I'm gonna be doing some dots uh, nothing crazy nothing special I got three bodies to do for those that will be joining me so what I like to do is use this Grex black um, I like just the consistency of it, uh, pretty much. What's up, Ben? What's up? What's up? So, uh, Merry Christmas to you as well, my friend. So, all I'm going to do here with my cup is I'm going to put a little in. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe a little more since I'm doing three bodies. Okay. Um, I just filled up. I don't know if you can see that, the cup a little bit. Uh, and then from there... I'm gonna thin it out with some 4012. Um, it's a nice little bottle. I, I've used others. Uh, I like 4012. I'm gonna put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 drops in there. Um, and I might put a little bit more. Not a science to it. I just wanna thin it out pretty good uh, on there. What's up everybody joining me? I'm just gonna be doing some dots. Um, and I'm just looking for a consistency, viscosity, I want it pretty watery uh, from there. I've got my uh, tank here. I guess since I'm here, I might as well see if I can flip my camera around. Nothing crazy. I got my paint set up here, nice and messy. But the cool thing is I got my air compressor, as you can kind of see there. It goes up and all around, and it's tucked way back in my garage back over here. What's going on, Stefano? um so yeah so nothing crazy um pretty messy not as cool as stefano's but hey all good this is my home place that i don't get to do too much painting with uh from there so i've already put my grex in here in my black and test it out on my little oh one thing that i did like that i've done um i'll show you this guy i just got this paper down right that i swap out for my testing um and so i just i got it Ducks of tape down on that, or not ducks out of masking tape, but that way, this is, it's just a nice little deal on that for me. But I got some bodies to do, so I'm gonna be doing that. Um, so I got my paint, I'm gonna shoot probably around 35 PSI. Uh, that's about 30, right there. Uh, nothing crazy, it's not gonna be a sexy uh, deal, but I'm painting, so all I'm doing here, is painting the edges right now. So I like to do when I do my dots. And the cool thing is with this, it doesn't have to be exact for the dots. But I'm giving a nice shot around all mine. If you've been on RC Paint Chat, you've probably seen my, my scheme, so it's not difficult to do. I'm actually going to be doing purple dots on this. So, um, yeah, again, this is not going to be a sexy, sexy deal, but I'm going to do all these edges real quick. I can show you to do my dots. So, I am finally over my COVID. This is my 10th day of quarantine. I'd be racing today, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. 
than getting all my racing buddies sick or possibly sick. So Christmas kind of stuck. But so I'm just going through and giving edges for all my little spots. So that way when I do the dots, it's a nice little fade in there. And the folks that are joining, I've already done my pinstripes. So right now what I'm doing is just giving my little dots around where the, there won't be dots. That way it's not a hard edge against that. The cool thing of this, this edging that I'm doing is pretty simple for the simple fact that I don't have to have some hard edges. So um, right now I've already got a little build up on my tip. I could tell that it was uh, not climbing out as clean. So I just pull off my tip, all right, and I just clean this guy out. Uh, from there. So Merry Christmas to you, Mr. Now. I hope you guys are doing well down in Australia. Is it, I don't really want to say down. I know you guys are down under, but I'm not sure exactly where. I could be east or west of them. You're definitely further south. Uh, it's crazy in Texas. I am located in Texas. It was 84 degrees to yesterday on Christmas Day. And it was 82 degrees today, today, Fahrenheit, so. I'm a dumb American, so I can't do the Celsius conversion, but. Um, so I'm gonna do this. And for probably time's sake, so I'm not just doing this all over for 15, 20 minutes. I'll do this body and I'll do the dots on this guy. And then I'll go probably kill it. But, after it's done. But I'm using Gretz Black. I just like how it shoots. If you ever get Grex, uh, it'd be southwest of us. But, Ben, if I'm looking east, I could go east to you, too. So it could be east. But, yes, you are definitely south. Depends on how you get there. But I don't know how I'd get there from Texas. I know we got direct flights from Texas to you guys, but all right, almost done here with this body. Again, while I like this, I'd usually spend a little, probably a little more time doing these shadows if I was worried about it, but it's going to be a black shadow. Watch it from the UK. What's up, Scott? You guys are definitely east of me. So, I'm just spraying this guy. Shooting about 30 PSI. A dog might pull up behind this in my background. They're my painting buddies. All right. Pretty looking pretty good. Make sure I got all my spots. These are my personal bodies. So if you've been on here, you've probably seen them. Perfect. I think I'm good there. So yeah, so I'm not gonna do all three of my bodies so you guys can see I'm bringing my spray black. So now what I'm going to do is one thing I recommended the other day is these quick connects, right? Makes it super simple. I also use these guns. I've used these forever. Yes, it's a water trap, but I'm more like it because how I can hold them. I got big old, I'm 6'3", so I got big old hands. So I, I like having that little guy there, but if, I'm going to change brushes right now. Um, this is a little Iwata. Let me turn this guy around. This guy right here is a great little, it's one of my favorite airbrush holders. 
Um, so I'm going to flip that back around, but I'm going to do a little quick disconnect here. Boom. And then, so this is my HPC Plus. I'm doing this guy for, and how you can distinguish the Plus is this guy. So you see that? That's how you can kind of tell the, the deal of itself. Uh, and then I just got my HPC, my Eclipse HPC, HPC as Eclipse, that I do it all. Uh, I do leave the backs off for me personally, so when I'm cleaning them and whatnot, uh, from there. But I'm now going to do some purple dots, and then back with black. And so I've tried a lot of different purples. I just like the iridescent kind of thing. This is Wicked. I've used Createx, Parma, uh, Parma's old, but um, Proline. Uh, the Wicked has got a really nice, pretty purple to it. I'm going to go from there. I then have these dots. Uh, it's all messed up, but I, I reuse these. That's why they look kind of funky. The reason I like to reuse them is they're not as sticky. Um, and so, because I'm doing on unfinished paint stuff, so it's gonna, it has the chance to peel out the unmasked stuff. So, um, what I'm going to do, y'all, all right, I just got this black. It's super, as you can see, barely even pulls off my finger when I do it. Um, and so I'm going to find a spot that I'm going to start right here. And so since I've already faded a lot of it, I'm just putting it on right there. Okay. Uh, nothing crazy. And then what I found with this is light coats, right? Help. And then I don't need a lot of purple. And so I'm just filling up my cup. I don't know if it's not the best lighting, but you can kind of see where that's at, but not a lot of paint. Testing it out, making it look good. Beautiful. I'm actually going to pull my needle back a smidge. And so one thing I do, if it's not coming out as much as I want, I pull that. I literally unscrew this guy, pull it back, I mean just a smidge, to get a little more opening, get some more air and paint through that. And what I like to do is hold this up so I'm not spraying it everywhere. I'm catching out where I'm trying to paint. And so I'm just going to spray And really like, and that's it. And so what I'm doing here, um, I don't think I've got, actually I might have a spot here where there, it's still a mask is down, so I don't want to pull it out. So I want to pull it away from where that point is. So if it does pull up a little bit, it's going in the right direction. And sure enough, yeah, no spots there. So I don't know if you can kind of see that, but you can see the dots. And again, it's just a real subtle uh, deal. I'm not looking for a very profound or, or, or big. And if I did, I'd want to put some more paint on it. But it's more of a subtle deal. Um, on the track, you can't even see it. Uh, but up close, you can see it, and it's pretty dope. Um, so I'm going to spray this guy. Uh, I think it's down there. So what I did there was I couldn't really see my paint too well, so I just sprayed a little spot right there to make sure it's still coming off good. Boom. Set it down again. Please don't peel up. Ah, there it goes. Ah. Okay. So now what's happening is the mask, and I can't see it well, is pulling up. So I'm going to pull out my handy dandy dorky deal so for those that are just joining us i'm peeling up okay so now what i'm going to do is very scientifically surgically try to remove this and i pushed it down too far is what happened or too hard so now what i'm trying to do is peel it off as best i can and really screw it up all right so now, I was hoping this wouldn't happen, but it did. So I got a spot here, that uh, a corner that came off that barely. I got another corner that came off that I won't be able to fix. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I like to do. Um, so let me see if I can show you here. I've got that mask right there that's pulled up. Okay, it's pretty messed up, right? So 
but fixable to stretch it out. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut out, I'm going to cut off that edge, right? So now I cut off the point. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is come over here, grab some mask off my wheel well, right? So I just cut a little square off here. And very gently so it doesn't roll. Pull it up. So now I got a band aid. And then I'm going to put the band aid over the spot pulled up. And it didn't get as long as I wanted, but it's pretty darn close. So now the band aid of the extra mask is on there. So it's now more mask. And now, you just recut it. So we all make mistakes, right? If you're not, you're not trying hard enough. <laughs> and so now, what I'm doing, Ben probably's got, Ben's still on there, he's probably got a much cooler way to do it. But now, no issues. So again, I just cut out a little small spot here, what I call my Band-Aid, cut off the part that I messed up, and then throw it right in there. And now uh, it's all good, so sweet. Um, and again, what could have been a pain in the butt or something I would have got really ticked off a while back ago, all right, is I've learned to kind of fix my mistakes and I don't have to use masking tape and all that. And so I'm putting this on a little lighter and the reason it did that, right, is because even though it's not super sticky, it's still sticky enough. But I pressed it down a little too hard. And now I got wet paint on there. And so now I'm just going to wipe it off. So when I put it back down somewhere else, I don't use my fingers. Your app tape works quite well for you too. Yes, it does, Benjamin. Um, okay, so I see a spot that as I was hurrying, trying to get this done, it wasn't as thick or the, the black was kind of spotty so spray some black real quick beautiful so all right so now while that's drying since it was super light it won't be gone i'm going to go another spot and where did my dots go did it fall again i'm not a someone that does this all the time so i'm not always prepared what the crap mark my dog, take it. Well, I got some more dots, but I had one I was just using. I don't know where it's at, but that's why I got more dots. So, uh, what's going on, sir? So, I'm going to put some more dots down. And there we go. Where the light? Light? Nothing crazy. And there you go. So... So yeah, so Max, cool tip. Yeah, I figured this one out after making mistakes and it was easier. The reason I don't like putting the tape down is because the consistency, right, is um, on a tape is super thick, right, versus liquid mask. And so you can get a lot finer line. Um, I don't know what made me think of that one day, but I did it and it's been a great little tip to fix it. So it's actually, Kind of glad of that. Gonna share a little, little quick trips. Perfect. Nothing crazy. And then beautiful. I got a couple more spots right here. And a real lightly put it down. Lovely. And then do some more spots. So again, I just, this is wet. So instead of getting my fingers dirtier than they're already gonna be at, I just take a paper towel, wipe off my old tape dots. Um, for if you wanna know what dots I use, I just get them on Amazon. If you do wanna know what dots they are, just post up here and I'll post the, the link of the Amazon on there. But it's like a window, for, it's like for windows, for privacy. Forget the name of the company. 
bottle. So what I'm doing here is I'm holding it up to where I can see where I'm spraying. My light's not the best of where I'm at. Um, so just putting this down on there. Lovely. I'm just doing it. I'm not trying to get it all at it at the same time just because the body molds and the, and the folds on that. I'm just trying to get that. So, I'll just do a little bit section at a time. And then I'll use my X-Acto, because I'll put it down. Come on, baby, don't peel up. Nice. See, you didn't press it down so much. Privacy, privacy screen basically, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's much cheaper. I'm sure there's people that make it, or you can cut it yourself, buy crap for ten dollars or, or whatever um it's all good i think it's around that for the, as much as i get and i reuse it right so you reuse this quite a bit and i like the reused a lot better because it's not as sticky as when you first get it if you do get it what i do is i put it on my clothes I, right I, I peel it off and on my clothes i'm trying to get it it's not as sticky uh, I'll, then I'll do it on my hands. Uh, the reason I do my hands is to get oils on them uh, from there. And I got all my spots. Lovely. Okay. So now I got, let me see if my little light will help at all. I got a whole bunch of dots. I don't know if you can see it that good. Is that better? I don't know. I got dots. You gotta trust me. And so now I got my dots. And then again, quick net, that will save your life. You can get a whole bunch of little, you know, a whole bunch of these in a splitter. I had that in my uh, one of my last houses. Um, the quick connects are just as good. So now one thing I learned with black, you don't need as much as you think you do. It is opaque, and it doesn't have to be put on there super thick. I'm just spraying. Just a spray, and now since this is my HBC Plus, it's there. So, so what I did right there, it wasn't coming out very good. So I just put my finger over this and backed it out um, and blew it. So that way, if there's a clog starting to build up there, I took care of it. Again, I'm just going really light. So one thing I've noticed Ah, there you go. So Ben just posted up what he uses. Probably identical to what I do. Or a different brand of it. Thank you, Ben. Um, come over here. That's it. So I'm going to hold this up to the light. And since I don't do a ton of black on there, you, one thing I learned is, right, uh, thank you, Ben, is you don't want it, you know, dusting with black, but so you don't put as much down. But if you barely can see through black, that's fine. Perfect. All right. And now, a nice subtle. Again, you're not going to be able to see this because of my crappy lighting. Right? But I've got my holographic little pinstripes. And there we go. And so, um, yeah, that's how I do my dots. i got three bodies to do. Um, so. It's a nice, cool, once I actually finish this up, I'll post pictures up and I'll actually, whoever's commented on here, I'll actually post a picture of what it looks like up, up close. 
Um, but super pumped about how this hollow spectric, whatever, what did they call it again? Alkali 2 lacquer, and it's called the Holomatic Spectral Chrome. Um, I've tried, Ben's got some stuff for you too. Um, it's hard to find in the US, uh, the one that Ben uses for the hollow spectral or his holographic, but um, this one is easily findable in the US. So, oh. There's this part. It was stuck to me. <laughs> that was stuck to me. And that's it, man. Uh, pretty simple stuff. I don't want to spend too much time. I don't know how long. Is it telling me the time I'm on here? Um, so that's it. So I've got a 12 scale to do. And then this is the Protoform Straka. This is the new Montec Zero body that I've really enjoyed. And then for you UK guys and European guys, you probably don't know what this is. This is an Exotech P1Z, P as in Paul, P1Z. It's for our class we run over here uh, in the US called USGT. Um, but pretty dope bodies from there. So um, it's kind of been around a while and it's the dom is still one of the best. Unlike our touring car bodies that change, you know, bodies every six months so um that is it my friends i think i'm going to the alkaline stuff is super overpriced yes the alkaline stuff is super overpriced but uh, you know it's ten dollars to fifteen dollars for one ounce which is ridiculous just for these three bodies i pretty much use an entire bottle so those pinstripes cost me about 15 bucks <laughs> so uh to get it from overseas uh definitely is harder for me so um, it's about the same by the time I get it so anyways um, that's all I got guys super short super sweet hopefully that helped someone out uh, I think the most important one <laughs> was the little my little band-aid fix and hopefully that helped some guys out but that's all I got guys have a very hope you guys had a merry very merry Christmas and then I also hope that you have a wonderful new year be safe out there um, actually I love all of my RC paint chat guys so, um, ooh, Ben just posted up stuff. I will try that out. Thank you so much. I don't know if it's just as good as the Alkaline. I am all over it, and it's from Spray Gunner, so I was not aware of that. Thank you, Ben. That's why I like Ben. Um, he's ugly, right, but he knows his stuff. So, and he talks funny, because he's from the, where are you from? <laughs> Australia. So, cool. Appreciate you. Uh, I've loved being a part of RC Paint Chat. I always love to give back a little as much as I can. I'm not the best out there. Uh, I'm halfway good. <laughs> so always getting better, always learning. So have a fantastic new year, and uh, hopefully you'll see some pictures of this soon. All right, guys. Bye.